Previously on House of Ashes. Wait, no, 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 I do not! No, I do not! No, 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 no. <laughs> We're just gonna safely walk in the other direction. Curious? Did I just say curious, Pop Pop? Stubborn, courageous, hopeful, knowledgeable, mature, stubborn, dutiful. <laughs> we are not making you curious! Curious gets you killed! <laughs> and now we continue. Why would you drag that? What? I don't understand your logic. <laughs> would Eric have shot him? Mo Eric might have shot him. Maybe it was good that I didn't bring Eric. Alright, so Salem's now officially a part of the party. The group. Alright. We are not enemies. Yourself. We are all humans. <laughs> I want you to tell me everything you know about these creatures. Why would he know? <laughs> Have you seen them before? You know where they came from? How many are there down here? I hope you are a believer, brother. When those things come back, you're going to need higher power to pray to. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. Wait, 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 okay, I guess we're doing this now. This is gonna be f gnarly. I hope it is. Let's do this. Find a hole. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. We just established earlier that they react to sound. That's the last one. Should Why would you make a giant explosion? You have to spot them on the cameras. <laughs> what? Sure, why not? I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> We should reset that chirp wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Huh. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. I'm really curious. Where, where, where's Rachel? Uh, I've always got your back. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Imagine if there's like a a, a a quick time event that popped up <laughs> and <it's> just <laughs> and they just one of them dies immediately after setting that up. <laughs> I don't think. I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Uh, why are you defending them? Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. It's about the girl at the checkpoint. Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Man. I'm not s that is messed up. Far out. Okay, so apparently Jason has anything else you want to add, Sergeant? Unfortunately killed. What seems to be a yeah, woman that tried to I get thought. through a ch uh, a border, a checkpoint border, and I guess they must have thought she had a bomb. But do an actual far receiving. out. Yeah. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. <laughs> Again? This is really real like, full on stuff. 
I hear you. Over and out. I guess this does bring up some interesting points about the military, how the situation in uh, the Arabian countries are being dealt with. An approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, wing. Don't know. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Now the dermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. I forgot to turn off the uh, brightness settings. Let me just do that quickly. Creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ. These doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going down here now. I don't know why. We still got to figure out a way to get out of here. I really thought the Air Force, us bringing the Air Force would be the way we get out. You know, it's like we get out, you know, out of the temple and we just get on the helicopter and take a run for it. But, I don't know. Is this the... <gasps> I think this is the hall, isn't it? Oh, it's the death hall from the beginning. Where both the dudes died and there was a bunch of them. I wonder if we can find. Never mind. <laughs> the closest I've been to hell. I was about to say I wonder if we could find the bo <laughs> the body of both the dudes from the intro, but yeah, that might be a bit more harder. <laughs> Looking at all these bones and stuff. Yet again. There's a big, there's a peculiar little pile right here, actually. Which tells me this might be him, but at the same time, they're all just leg bones. <laughs> These are all just femurs and humeruses. There's no ribs or anything. Uh, what's, n not even vertebrae. Maybe there's, there's fractions of pelvises here and there. And there's an ulna, a radius. It's it's all just limb bones. Where's the what the hell type of formation is that? What do we got here? Oh, that's another soldier. By the looks of it, he died ages ago. Fuck, she do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. Oh, it's the chick. Wait, are they actually vampires? Is it like a thing where if you get bits and you slowly turn into those bat dudes? Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? <laughs> Maybe you should hold on to that. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Um, sure. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Yeah. Cause yeah, we've 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 already established these bat dudes. They're bulletproof. Bullets aren't gonna do anything. So we gotta stab them for the heart. I don't know why that hurts them, but okay, if that's what we have to do, then sure. Oh boy, we got more stuff. 
stank of death and was littered with enough to be uncovered in files. The crow thinks that <laughs> down here after robbing them, I pity those that hapless wanderers, the fear they must have felt. This was not what he wanted to show us. An unearthly when Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. Show me a video. <laughs> Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. Hmm. Interesting. What's that? Oh, you know, just so magic paper that makes us see in the, into the past. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> the opposite of the the magic tablet that makes us look into the future. <laughs> uh, that's the dead woman. Let's look down the hole, sure. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, that's disturbing. Why would you, dude? Jason, come on, dude. Those those were people. <laughs> Why would you spit on them? What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. So who's this one? Is Jason a racist? I'm getting really worried that Jason might be a racist. Bloodless like corpse. He's been drained dry. His blood's be been sucked out bored. by the vampire. Giant bat, the Draculas. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, tablet, tablet. Here we go. What do we got? Huh. Trip wire. That was, uh, that was Rachel. Oh, I gotcha. So there, if there comes a point where I have to use a, a an explosion or actually was that her hold on that might have been her that did the trip wire where is it here it is hmm uh, is that the it's the pillars I think interesting there's Okay, there's two dudes there and her. Hmm, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know if that blood that we saw is from the bat monster. Or if that explosion is from... Like, do they even bleed? That's the thing. The, the blood. The blood's a big hint. Do the bat... Do, do the Draculas bleed? Because if they don't... Hmm. There might be a person that we might be exploding there. More crap. What'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Nothing that's gonna get right us out of here. I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Take a look, Nick. All right. Interesting. I guess we're progressing. We saw everything we needed. I gotta be. Uh, Wary though, like C4s, explosions. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass their Is that a Rachel death we saw, or is that someone else? Yeah. Or was that the Bat Monster? Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum mm. coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller oh. spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Ooh. Uh, uh, plant them to the sides. Okay. <laughs> Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. Um. Oh God. Oh no. 
<laughs> I don't. I don't know. Both options could be bad. Depends what we do as Rachel. <laughs> Here's my idea. Rachel's gonna be panicking, right? She's gonna be running away from the monster. Away. She's obviously gonna go for the what center. She might have given her a second warning. Uh, Fuck, man! I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah. What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Hmm. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Come on, Jason. We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. Yeah, the, the whole situation. You know, I was seeing Rachel. With the the war Are going you serious? on, and it's really f full on. Yeah. It's been three weeks. I have the biggest of sympathies for the soldiers that chose to fight there. It's harm. Because in the end, you still gotta Drop remember. Kick. This is mailman two one actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise. Over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Found a camera here. Let's head back. Yeah, like, um, oh, here we go, we're playing Rachel, let's do this. But yeah, like, it's really, like, PTSD is like a full on, I'm, 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 I'm glad I never have to, well, I hope I never have to, have to face through the unfortunality of going through that, you know, it's, it's, it's rough, man. But yeah, in the end, all soldiers are still humans. Just because they, they're holding the gun and they're fighting a war doesn't necessarily mean they're always the bad guy. They're just Eric? working for Eric? their own leaders. Where are you? You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. Good thing she landed in water, huh? What the hell type of Nick? messed up place is this? Jason? And it's all lit up with fire as well. That's the weirder part. Was it, how long was that? Surely this must be recent. Because surely the fire must have been burnt out at some point, right? There's no way this is literally hell, right? Because like in the end, there's always something scientific. The bats are obviously, you know, they're they're just creatures. They're just animals that just live down here. They're not actually demons. But how do you explain this stuff with the fire and stuff? That can't be anything good. Oh god. Oh boy. Let's try and get out of here without casualties, eh? There's something over here, let's have a look. <gasps> oh my god, it's the helmet of the knights from way earlier! Oh! <laughs> we just see him, it's like... Far out. We just see him, it's like, um... Hello, I am the guard. I died because a prisoner <laughs> like attacked me immediately after I locked him up. Jesus Christ. These must be some full on strong monsters also. Like it's to scratch through an iron helmet like that. It's not easy. We got some strength from them. Alright Rachel, let's get you out of here. You're gonna be alive. You're gonna see your, your, your husband Eric. Or once husband Eric. Or maybe just sort things out with Eric. I don't know. Do something. We'll find out what happens. <laughs> Alright, that's one cheap jump scare that they did. 
It's actually kind of interesting. I'm kind of almost proud of them for not doing cheap jump scares. Ooh, that's where we go. Screw it. I'm, I'm going to have a look around. Maybe there's a tablet somewhere. But yeah, like usually, uh, these guys that make these games, like Until Dawn and the other two games, usually, ah, uh, I think that's a tablet. Good thing that chose to do that. Usually, um, yeah, like, they they just take very, uh, it, it's very easy for them to just go like, boo, ah, like a, a very obvious jump scare, like the full on jump scare. But so far, like, they really seem to be actually doing that. They're making their fear, like, natural, almost. You know, instead of, like, making cheap jump scares where, like, we're looking through a hole. It just comes out and screams in your face. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's a no. It's not actually a premonition. Damn it. Alright, let's just watch this. 28th of December. He talks for me. God forgive <laughs> us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. Hmm. Something happened to that dude's wife, uh, Mary. Right on. So, like, here's, here's what I think is going on. I think the bat dude obviously attacked her. I'm not going near that thing. Is there... Permission near that. Oh man. On one hand, it's clear as day there's something in that water or in that blood. On the other hand, there might be a premonition there because it's very open. Is it worth it? I'll just go the other direction yeah <laughs> yeah like I, th I think the bat dude came down attacked her maybe bit her maybe they they, they they flew away or something I don't know and she's still alive but because she's been in maybe they maybe I don't know maybe the bat dudes have like some kind of venom or something I don't know as a weapon sure let's do this <laughs> we're going old school like caveman style far cry primal oh torch too yeah we're using fire <laughs> <laughs> I just remember there's, there's actually an actual like full on Batman villain that's literally just a bat and it's not Batman like what was his name Man Bat or something it's pretty much exactly what these guys are it's the a bat in a man's form <laughs> it's so absurd I love it What, you mean the fire? Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, what is that? Is that a giant skull? What was that? I do like... Rachel looks like Carrie. <laughs> the the horror movie uh, villain. Well, not necessarily villain. She's like a... I don't 
Oh. Interesting. What is with the green smoke? Hmm. Premonition? No. It's a skull. Look at the teeth. They're like, uh, kind of like marsupial teeth. Almost. Oh, here we go. Saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. No way! I, am I right? Are they actually point venomous? I, I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects such as a change of to colors. We have attempted to secure additional samples of saliva from the site where M was attacked. Mary. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar in experience with mushrooms. Psilocybin? Do these things actually have venom? Or is it even venom? The girl got bitten, right? And she had visions and nightmares or something? Oh man, that's probably gonna be like a... There's gonna be a, a situation or something. It's just like, uh, Madame Dane, Right, I bet you. One of us gets bitten, and we're gonna be seeing some weird stuff, some full-on stuff, right? And then it's gonna be like... <laughs> oh my god, there's a monster there! I gotta shoot it! <laughs> it's like, wait, no, no! And then I choose not to shoot him, and then they're fine. They grow free. Hmm. We'll see what happens. But if they do do that, I wouldn't be, be necessarily mad because in the end there still actually is a monster rather than Madame Dane doing the whole illusion stuff. I'm gonna bet, I bet you they're gonna do an Until Dawn jump scare, aren't they? You know that jump scare um, where Josh might die, you know? Where he just comes out of the water and goes, Gah, boo, you know? And, the, and then the Wendigo just crushes his head. That's where we learn that the Wendigo is, um, what's her face? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he knows we're here. Use the fire! <laughs> Oh, it's messing up his vision a little. <laughs> Rachel! Not Rachel! <laughs> oh. Run. Clarice? No, no. What the? She's alive? What? <laughs> How are you alive? What? 